One of the good things about our RIP software, it does, doesn't just print a solid white base up underneath every pixel. If it's a darker pixel, it'll print a lighter underbase. And if it's a brighter pixel, it'll print a much brighter underbase. The circulation sound that you hear in the background is the white ink circulation system. It uses a systolic pump to actually pump the white ink past the print head and then back into its reservoir. So that way the white ink never settles. That was one of the issues in the beginning of this technology is the white ink was made of titanium oxide. And titanium oxide is an actual metal fragment, but it has been ground down to such a fine emulsion that uh, it's able to be printed out of a print head. One of the drawbacks of it is that over time, if it just settle, uh, settles, then the white ink will start to separate or the titanium will start to separate from its water base and form little goo globbers in the bottom of your bottles. By forming this white ink management system, it actually keeps the white ink moving so it never has a chance to separate. One of the other great features about going with digital printing is there's no limit to colors, sort of like there were in screen printing or screen charges. Basically, what you see on your computer screen is what you can print to a shirt. Unlimited colors. Once this white layer is done, I inspect the shirt to make sure I didn't forget any settings or if anything got damaged or anything to that order. Then I will reload this and then it will print all the colors at the same time. One of the other good things about our software is it actually get, displays the price of the shirt onto the screen. So every time you click and print a shirt, it will give you a total ink cost. The ink cost for the shirt they're printing today is $1.37. So if you do the math, you got $1.37 and probably about a dollar to $2 in shirt cost. So you're looking at about $3.50 a shirt. Average uh, digital prints going in uh, retail at this point are around $14.99 or $14 to $15.99 on light colored garments and up to $19.99 to $24.99 on dark colored garments. Once the shirt has completed, I it off the machine. I'm being very careful not to fold the shirt over on top of itself because the ink, the ink is still wet on the shirt. So what we're going to do now is take this over to our heat press. We're going to press this a particular dark shirt for three minutes. The three minutes basically ensures that the print will not fade or wash off of the shirt. So let's take this over to the heat press. Once we have it on the heat press here, I will place parchment paper on top of it. Same parchment paper that you can get at your local grocery store. Or we also have a Teflon sheet that you can do too. But it actually changes the finish of the way the shirt looks. So then I will press the shirt 180 seconds. And while that is pressing, I'll talk about some of the other things that can be printed on the direct garment printers. We do a lot of tile work, photorealistic type tile work made on ceramic tiles, and they're not any special tiles that you have to buy from a special uh, distributor or anything. Basically, you can go to Home Depot, Lowe's, and buy them for anywhere from 50, to, 50 cents to a dollar. We also do the stretched canvases, or the little picture boxes. We sell the kits to do these, so that way you can do framed portraits and things like that for hanging on walls. We also do the just the regular canvas work for framing, doing old uh, classic artwork to new, more modern stuff, just depending on what you want to do. We also do the mosaic tiles that you can tile up on your wall or onto your floor. If you're wanting to do these for a more permanent type basis, something like a bathroom, you would want to probably refire them with a pottery glaze. We also do the wood. The wood is very easy. It's a nice pliable surface. It's extremely absorbent. And I've also gone to like Michael's Craft Shop and bought the little picture boxes, uh, jewelry boxes, and things like that. The only limitation is, is if I can fit it inside my printer. I do have about five inches in height that I can actually play with.
We also do golf balls with digital images on the sides of them it's for a novelty type gives, gifts and giveaways. Total time for this entire process is around 10 minutes for a large oversized print on the full shirt and that's on the darks. The light color shirts pretty much reduce that time by a good two thirds of time. Uh, the white shirts, you're basically putting a single pass of colorings and no white ink involved. So that way it actually uh, will go a lot faster and there's a lot more profit involved. The white shirts, your average print cost will be anywhere from 15 to say 35 cents, uh, unless you're printing a large rectangular type design. Once this finishes, take off your parchment paper and you have a nice finished product ready for sale. I hope this uh, answered a lot of your questions and I hope to see you in training soon. You have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.